Okay, hello YouTube. <clears throat> I think I'm all set. <laughs> uh, my setup here, well first of all I have meters on everything. Well, there's only three things to measure. Input voltage, uh, this meter is basically just hooked up to the terminals of the battery. Uh, input amperage and speed voltage. This little, or this meter goes back to this little coil back in there right there and um, just picks up a voltage um, it doesn't cause it actually there is a little bit of iron in there but it's gonna stay consistent for all the tests so it has very little very little drag on the wheel but it's there to pick up a voltage and to show us the speed and that's it just to show us the speed change so we don't have our tachometer yet, but we can do this and see a change in speed. So if this voltage rises and gets higher, that means the wheel's going faster. And if this voltage is lower, it means that the wheel is going slower. Uh, basically my, um, well, let me wire her up. So, uh, Right, and our positive. All right, we're wired up. So basically, we're coming from the negative here, and it comes down and through the ammeter, and is going to tell us the how many uh, amps of current is being used. So it comes from the negative terminal of the battery through the ammeter and to two light bulbs. Here's a little better view. Into two light bulbs and they're wired in parallel. Uh, just to get well to have a, a steady resistor, a, a static resistor, not a variable resistor. Um, and I have two, two of them in parallel just to give the right speed to the wheel um, for a sane test because that motor will drive the wheel very fast. Um, so through these light bulbs as a resistor, uh, into the motor, out of the motor, through this switch right here, and then to the positive terminal, the battery. Now what we're going to do is, whoop, 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 get rid of the glare. So we're going to do one test empty, that's what this first test is going to be. Um, I'm going to give the wheel a spin, uh, generally the same force, uh, all three tests. And flip the switch on, I'm going to set the camera down here, I don't have a tripod yet, but I have a, a furniture pod. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to focus it in on the meters, and we're going to let everything settle down. And um, then I'm going to write the numbers up here. I have a little chart made out. So this, this whole test is going to be made up of three tests, and this is the first part uh, with an empty wheel. So there's nothing on the wheel uh, to slow it down or speed it up in any way. Just the wheel, the motor hooked up to the wheel, and it's spinning. So we're gonna, I'm gonna give it a crank, flip the switch, I'm gonna put the camera down, show you the meters, then let it settle down, and when it settles down, I'm gonna write the numbers down there. And then I'm gonna uh, turn the video off, and then we're gonna go to um, test, or part two of the test. But in between, I'm going to have to um, get, let the, I'm go, what I'm gonna do is, I just bought this battery brand new today and what I did was I put it on the, a charger uh, it's a 6 amp charger but it's an auto charger and I put it on there for one hour right and it it went up and then it came down and it's been sitting for probably four or five hours no longer than that six hours now but um it's at 12.6 and it's been there for a good two or three hours there. 
So it's settled down and it's ready to go at 2.6 even, which is a good number. But um, then when things settle down, so after this test, I'm going to turn the camera off. And what I'm going to do is, is take this battery uh, and put it on the charger again for probably about an hour. And then I'm going to have to let the battery sit and rest and settle uh, for another long time. And I'm thinking it's going to come back to about the same point. I'm hoping, um, but uh, that's it. This is the first part of the test. So what I'm going to do is put the camera down here. Uh, let me tilt it up just a touch. Zoom her in a touch. So you can see those. You can see that the wheel's turning back there. You can see the numbers, and I'm going to give her a crank. There we go. And she's speeding up. You can see on the speed voltage indicator, it's speeding up. I don't know how fast this is going to go. I haven't really tried it. Other than last night, and... Um, a little more light. Hopefully that's better. There we go. So she's still climbing the speed voltage. Input amps 2.37 right now. The batteries come down. voltage. Now that motor doesn't get hot. Uh, I had it running a little bit last night doing this these tests quickly. Now granted when I did I did these tests last night and when I did um, when I did I started in the same sequence. This is the first test. I didn't I didn't let the battery uh, be at the same level though and the battery I was using last night was uh, less than half the depth right so that motor dug right into it with 2.3 amps but um, yeah I didn't I didn't charge the battery and rest it and get it back into the same attitude as uh, when I did the first part of the test you know so by the time I got to putting the coils on with you know with the core and then engaging them, um, the battery was depleted, you know, oh, it had to be three quarters of a volt. I want to say, you know, I don't want to say numbers, but it was depleted and it makes quite a difference, that voltage um, going into that motor, even half a volt is going to uh, make a big difference in its output. She looks like she's settled a little bit here. Didn't take nearly as long. This DC motor is much better than the AC motor. And I'm realizing right now, <clears throat> I'm going to upload this. I'm not going to do it all, make you wait, and then um, edit it. So I'm making this right now, and I'm going to upload it. And then I'll do the next part of the test. You know, do what I was saying with the battery. Make sure it's in the same attitude, voltage, condition for each part of the test. You know, just to be consistent and to be fair. But um, I'm going to I'm going to make them separate uploads. I've been at this and <laughs> uh, I haven't even watched football yet so I'm doing this test right now and then I'm going to get the battery starting back into shape and um, and watch some football The 
this wheel actually operates better, quieter, less resonance in the massive wooden frame <laughs> at a little higher speed, you know, above that critical point. So at a higher speed, it seems to be, you know, less wobbly. I think we're going to call this a test. It's settled. I think we're going to call it 17.6 volts as a speed voltage. I'm going to write it down right now. So 17.6 volts. We've got an input of 2.35 amps. <laughs> it's probably changed by the time I did this. And we've got an input voltage from the battery at 12.41. All right. Okay, so actually, I'm gonna make the, oh no, 12 point or 17 point. We better call it 17.7. Just to be safe. <laughs> safe. All right, there we go, guys. We're gonna call it a bid. I'm gonna turn her down, whoop, whoop. And, uh, or turn her off. And I'll see you in the next test. So just to recap, sorry. We had the wheel turning up to its speed. Um, oh, I need to write one thing down here. Our starting, where did I put the chalk now? Here it is. So I'm just gonna write our starting voltage on the battery up here. 12.60. There we go. Okay, so we started at 12.60 volts on the battery, and it was well rested and settled right there. Uh, we had an input with a naked wheel of 12.41 volts coming from the battery after it was um, settled down at, a, at its steady speed at 2.35 amps. And the speed measured on the voltmeter for speed, again, from this little coil, just picking up voltage to show us uh, changes in speed, right? And that will stay steady and um, as it is throughout the test. And we measured a speed voltage of 17.7 volts. So there we go, first test. Woohoo! And I'm watching football. I'll, uh, I'm going to hook this battery up to the charger for, I'm thinking, 45 minutes, and then we'll see where she settles. I'll uh, be talking to you next time. And, oh, next test is going to be uh, this same thing that we just did right there. Nothing's going to change here. Uh, and the only thing that's going to change is that I'm going to put a uh, coil set with the iron cores and I have um, specs to be taped to that too. And that's going to go on the wheel, but it's not going to be engaged, right? It's going to be an open circuit. So that iron is going to be attracted to these magnets and we should have a slower speed here. And we should have a higher uh, amp draw from the motor because there's going to be more work being required or put on the motor, right? So it should uh, theoretically hypothetically um, draw more amps here right but uh, there we go uh, thanks for watching and we'll be back with the next test
with the one coil set and core on there with the open circuit right and then we'll do the same thing give the wheel a flip turn it on let it rest at a settle at the speed that it wants to settle at and then we're going to write down the um, the um, the numbers volts amps and volts okay talk to you next time bye